Hello and welcome to my awesome haul journey. I am Brett Dupree and I am talking about something simple, which is injury and coming back from injury. Uh, my ankle, which I, you know, I've been complaining about, I've been watching my story for the last couple days, has been bothering me for almost a month. Yeah, at this point, it's been a month. And uh, this week has been great. Uh, Monday, I was able to do 2.5 twice. No, actually, Tuesday, I did 2.6 because we broke it up to on the 2.6 miles per hour on the tread. Uh, today, I did 2.7, and I didn't even feel one... St I only felt one sting. I did, I did feel one stinging pain. And I mentioned this because one thing I've learned in my long life of hurting myself is to beware the excitement of getting healthy when you hurt yourself. Because it's very easy to re-aggravate an injury. I have been really pushing myself not to increase the uh, incline. I want to get my speed up before I start testing incline. And not increasing my speed even more because of how little pain I feel, especially during the first 10 to 15 minutes. Michael's been holding up really well during those times. But my thought process, especially when I'm like, you know, maybe you can bump it up a point zero one, is, wait a second, you don't want to hurt yourself. Just do what you can, and if it holds up, we'll increase it next time. Because patience, because there's many times in my life in the past where I hurt myself, which it just happens. Um, even before I was old, I would hurt myself just, you know, generally, but, uh, then I'd start feeling better and then I'd be like, yeah, let's go. I can work out because there's a lot of excitement. I was talking to, uh, one of the, uh, front desk people at Orange Theory today about hurting yourself. The frustration part is, you know, especially if you're seeing progress, uh, hurting yourself delays your progress and it's frustrating and yeah. I've had many videos talking about how frustrated I've been. I think at this point, I've been close to 3.0 uh, miles per hour. Might not have hit it yet, but I've been close. Might have been close at 1.4 miles in a in, in a meeting, in a class. Or I might have been close, especially because of Tuesdays where we split. You know, tread was like two 11-minute segments. I might have been able to do 3.1 to 3.0. I think I should have been, at this point, if I didn't hurt myself a month ago, probably could have done 3.1 and hit a goal of doing 3.0 miles per hour in a full class for the first time. And that's been another goal of mine, and it's one I would have hit in the last month. But uh, all those goals that I haven't hit yet, it's frustrating that I haven't hit them. And I guess my point being quite simply is just once that... But I feel my ankle feel better. There's this feeling that I want to be able to start hitting those goals again because, you know, that frustration's been building and building. And now I'm finally feeling better. Like today, I feel like celebrating at 2.7 miles per hour for 26, 27 minutes. Sorry, my nose is all itchy. And that really made me want to cheer because I was just very happy on how well my ankle held up. But, um,. My point being is just recognizing and looking at my past, how I've hurt myself so many times by, uh, you know, pushing myself. So I'm using wisdom from my past and I'm not hurting myself. Well, it's such a nice short video. I just wanted to say that. Um, so I love you who, for who you are. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate everyone supporting and loving on me for watching my videos. And of course, you are worthy.